Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Robert back with you, trying to continue my effort here to defend the realm. As you may remember from my previous videos, uh, the taint is getting rather nasty here in the realm. Uh, five taint crystals are already on the board. I think there's a total of 12. That's one way I can lose the game, is if all those taint crystals uh, become placed on the board. I'm now playing the wizard, and the first thing I'll do uh, in the morning step here is turn over his life tokens. And our wizard is currently on the Whispering Woods area. And there's one blue minion there. I think what I'll do is for my first action, I will try to take out that blue minion. So I'm going to put down my die rolling board and take uh, one blue die for the one uh, dragon, what is it, dragon spawn, dragon kin. Let's we'll see if we can take it out. We need a five or higher. And that's a three. That is not good enough. So our first action uh, is wasted. Let's spend a second one and see if we can take it out. We got a five. So our second action is successful. And the blue minion that was there is eliminated all right that leaves our wizard with uh, three more actions to go um, let's take a look at this quest card the wizard has a quest card uh, called crystal of light and to complete this quest we need to go to ghost marsh that's actually up there where the dwarf is. And that's not a bad place to go because there is a taint crystal there that I believe happened during a uh, an overrun step. So, if I'm understanding the wizard's teleport ability, uh, you may spend an action to move to one location each turn as if traveling by a magic gate. I think I'm understanding this right. I'm going to turn this token over and I think I can just pick my wizard up and put him there. So he's going to teleport there to uh, Ghost Marsh and I think what I will have him do is try to complete his quest. He is seeking the crystal of light it was lost years ago in a dungeon in the ghost marsh uh, to successfully find uh, this crystal uh, I need to roll four dice and if I roll any sixes I am successful and I have found I have found the uh, crystal so we've got four dice here Let's, uh, let's see how we do. All we need is a six. I need to spend another uh, action token to do this. Here we go. And we actually got a couple of sixes there. So we have the crystal now. As a reward, we can discard this quest card at any time to remove any one tainted crystal. And you must be on this space. Well, let's do it now. Um, I don't think this requires an action token. Uh, I think I just throw this away. So I'm going to discard this card. And I'm going to now remove the uh, crystal here. So the ghost marsh has been uh, clean cleaned. We still have a red minion there. 
I've got a red minion there, and I've got one more action left. So let's have the wizard uh, end his turn, spending his last action token to see if he can take out uh, this minion. A three. I don't think that's good enough. No, uh, to take out the the demons you need a four or higher. So that that is a failed roll. Another uh, quick note here on my wizard. As you can see, he has ended his turn on the Ghost Marsh area along with one red minion. Since he has ended his turn on an area with a minion, he will suffer one point of damage. So what we need to do is take one of his uh, spent life tokens and we're actually going to need to put that to the side of the board meaning that uh, when they flip over he doesn't get this one back uh, until he heals so we've had our first character take some damage now uh, we'll see what we can do from here all right well that's going to end it for the morning phase. I think as we move into the evening phase, I get to draw uh, a couple of cards. I noticed I have a special card here I might want to put into play sometime. Um, I am assuming it takes an action to play this card. I would guess so. Anyway. I get to draw two more hero cards and we've got some blue uh, locations here then I have to go into the uh, the night phase uh, darkness spreads cards I believe but let me take another look at my wizard it says when you're drawing a darkness spread card it may be discarded and another one drawn but the new card must be used well, let's see what I get uh, we've got two green minions in the forest one undead minion in the land of the Amazons I don't think I have anybody in the Minotaur forest I'm even looking for that location Minotaur Forest. Yeah, it's empty. So that's not so bad. What I'm concerned about is general movement. Uh, well, basically, that's just going to advance the demon for sure uh, one step along the path. So is it wise to throw this one away using our wisdom ability? Since that for sure is going to move a general, why don't we why don't we use that ability discard this card and draw a new one and hope that it is better because I have to take this one now orc war party add one orc to each location that currently has one orc and only one orc on it and uh, sapphire the blue dragon would advance to monarch city Fortunately, he's not close enough for me to worry about that. So add one orc to each location that currently has one orc and only one orc on it. Well, let's check the board. Um, we've certainly got some orcs around in this area, but no orcs are by themselves. And same deal over here. We've got two, but none by themselves. So... I believe that's a clear turn. I don't think we had to put anybody down there. So I think that's going to do it for the wizard. Uh, had some moderate success there on that uh, on that turn. Up next is the rogue. I just did a double check on the uh, the timing of these special cards. It appears as if they can be played at any time, even on another player's turn. I think I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, special card. It's called Cavalry Sweep. And this card belongs to our wizard. It says that you start at any location and remove a total of six minions. 
no more than two per location moving from the start location to adjacent locations dragon kin blue minions are going to count as two so they are evidently much more difficult to take out so let's start uh, let's see yeah I think I'm gonna use this cavalry sweep on the uh, the blizzard mountains and I'm kind of going to waste it on these dragon kin that means I can only take out about half so I can only take out three, a total of three, a maximum of two per one location. So I'm going to take out two here and one here and remove those three blue minions from the board. So that will do it for our special card, Cavalry Sweep. And now we are ready to officially move on to the rogue's turn.